Hello and welcome. This is going to be your reading for May 1st through the 15th, 2023. Welcome back subscribers. Welcome if you are new. We are still smack dab in the middle of eclipse season. We've got the second one coming on May 5th. So please leave me comments below. How are you guys doing? How have you been holding up? What major themes or um, what's been highlighted for you during eclipse season? Also, for those of you who don't know, I am a full-time master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. Does not matter where you live. I have clients all around the world at this point and we do schedule according to your time zone. The link below to my website has all the information available for you and you will also see there is a 15% discount off your very first session with me or as a first time client. So you can absolutely take advantage of that if you feel called to do so. Otherwise, let's just get straight in to the readings. Hello Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, any placement of Capricorn. Again, this is for May 1st through the 15th, 2023. Let's get you an overall energy. Okay, oh, I love this one. You've got the Wombat Spirit, be at home. So the message that I'm hearing for you Capricorns is what does that actually mean? You being an earth sign, I mean, that is like your home and that grounded energy is always going to be very, very important to you. But being at home, I am hearing this is more of a message at home within yourself, within what you need, what you want, what your desires are, what your wishes are, and really being truly honest with yourself of the dreams that you have, of what it is that you want to build and create and um, achieve in your lifetime and being at home with the idea of your goals and your dreams is going to give you such a sense of peace and also a sense of direction and so I just love this energy for you especially in eclipse season because it can help clear out any energy around us that is maybe taking away from us being at home within ourselves, within our truth, within our authenticity, and you know, those sacred parts of ourselves that nobody can take away from us. That's what this is really speaking to. So that is your overall energy, Capricorn, through May 15. Let's get the other cards out and see what we've got for you. Oops. Second row is your specific person. So those of you dealing with a specific person, what do we need to know about their energy? And third row is any clarifying messages for you, please. Whoop. Okay, we'll take those and one more. All right, Capricorn, interesting. Look at all this water energy here that we are starting with. We've got Page of Cups, Three of Cups, Queen of Cups. Uh, definitely a message here around your emotions, your deeper feelings, um, your truth of maybe what your feelings are. And with the Page of Cups, that typically is a more playful, lighthearted, kind of goofy energy. And the Page of Cups can really speak to, you know, not big commitments and just being a little more, um, uh, what's the word, like floating around, not really super grounded. And then with the Three of Cups in the middle here, this is really a card of socializing, being with friends, being out, being, you know, out and about with your community, meeting new people, etc. So there's something to be said here around the Page of Cups, being like lighthearted, really playful. A lot of social time for you right now is a positive thing. And I'm seeing that that's going to help you get to like a deeper part of your heart and your emotions and maybe what it is you know that you want to build and create so the queen of cups here I'm seeing I'm seeing all of this as your energy actually and there's a shift happening here for you in the depth of your heart and the depth of your emotions and what you want to bring to your friends to a romantic partner to your family to the people in your community so this is really beautiful Capricorn if you've been a little bit closed off to uh, your emotions or those deeper parts of yourself you know this is an opportunity to really soften up a bit and open up because I am seeing growth for you in this um in this time because you're moving from the page of cups energy to the queen of cups energy with the help of your friends your family uh you know your social circles are a big a big role for you right now uh which i think is really beautiful so you also could be dealing with water signs um pisces scorpio or cancer coming through quite strongly there 
All right, second row is your specific person. So those of you dealing with a specific person. We've got the Temperance card, Three of Swords, Seven of Swords. Okay, wow. Um, your specific person has had quite a beat up heart. I will say that. There's a lot of wounds. There's a lot of um, pain that they still carry in their heart. That is causing them to not be able to be fully honest with you and their feelings. Okay, uh, that can be a hard thing to hear, but I am hearing that they have a lot of pain in their heart. I'm going to say it again. They have a lot of pain in their heart and it's getting in the way of them being able to be honest with themselves about how they really feel with you. So this pain in their heart is a block in this dynamic, in this relationship. However, with the temperance card here, this is the opportunity for healing, for harmony, for balance. And I'm seeing that your specific person is kind of going through the healing phases and stages of that. You know, the temperance card is coming out first, which is showing, you know, the blending of two extremes, the balancing of the emotions. Um, but your specific person needs to be willing to have a look or to be aware that maybe they do have some pain that they need to face and deal with, as we all do. Um, and I'm seeing that maybe they have felt a little bit singled out. They don't want to admit that, you know, they're not as strong as they want you to think they are, etc. cetera. Um, but this is, this dishonesty that I'm seeing is really within themselves, okay? And they can't be fully honest with you until they are fully honest with themselves. So this eclipse and this first part of May is going to be a lot of that getting cleaned up for them because the temperance card is going to allow them to feel their truth, to feel that place of peace and to feel more grounded um, in their heart energy. And so Capricorns, I'm seeing a, a really big healing happening for your specific person, you know, for the first half of May. So um, you may need to just kind of keep focusing on you. And it's interesting that you have this big heart opening that's happening and they are realizing that they have a lot of pain in their heart. So there is something happening here in the way that you've kind of been mirroring each other um, a little bit with that. So I think it's actually quite positive. You could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I mentioned a lot of water, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer um, earlier. Okay, final messages and clarity for you, Capricorn. We've got the Five of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and the World card. I absolutely love that you're ending with the world card because this is showing that a cycle is coming to completion, wholeness is coming um, into the picture, and with that ace of swords, this is the brand new beginning, the fresh start, the communication, the offer. Um, I'm seeing, you know, look at all of these extra swords that are just so unneeded, and I'm seeing a lot of clarity come in, boundaries being set, and truth being told here with the ace of swords. So this is really a powerful new beginning for you, Capricorn, either with somebody new that you are dating or your specific person that you've been dealing with for a little while now. And just be mindful of your thoughts. Um, Five of Wands to me can sometimes represent a little bit just chaotic thinking or uh, the energy in the mind is kind of just flailing around without a, a purpose and it's a little bit uh, unhelpful, if you will. So, um, but the clarity is coming in, the offer is coming in, the communication is coming in, and something is wrapping up and really coming to wholeness and completeness um, so that something new can begin, a new phase, a new chapter, uh, albeit with a new person or somebody that you've been dealing with. I'm just seeing whatever's been going on that isn't supportive and helpful, that is getting wrapped up and completed, which is always a good thing. All right, Capricorn. So again, you have pretty much mostly air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and water, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. And we've got a little bit of fire here, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries uh, with that five of wands. Okay, let's see any other message for you. Oop. There it is. All right. You've got the nature card. 
This is always a card of peace and calm in the mind. It really represents to me just getting grounded, getting clear, uh, letting the harmony of nature naturally balance and cleanse you. So Capricorns, you may need to spend a little time in nature or just get outdoors, get some fresh air, get your bare feet on the earth, whatever that is for you. Because I'm seeing that's really going to help just keep you grounded through these next um, couple weeks or through the half, uh, first half of May, okay? Let's get you a spirit animal message and then we will wrap up. All righty, you've got the cougar, assertive. In silence, you find power. Claim your leadership role and take action. You know where to go and what to do. You have the courage and confidence to succeed. There you have it, Capricorn. Face anything that you've been a little bit afraid to face because you are fully supported right now to be assertive, to take charge, to make the changes that you truly want that will improve all areas of your life. So um, use the cougar energy, use the eclipse energy, whatever it is um, to help give you that momentum forward. Beautiful. I think that's all that's coming through for you. I hope this resonates. You can always watch your moon sign, your rising, any other placement of Capricorn. Thank you for your likes, subscribes, and comments. They do make a difference for the channel, and I love reading all your comments. Um, if you missed the intro, I am a full-time master energy therapist. I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. It does not matter where you live or how far apart we are. Uh, we schedule according to your time zone, so no worries on that. And it's just a really powerful tool to help balance a align you, clear out whatever you no longer need, and just help you to feel lighter and more connected to your true self. So uh, the link below to my website, all the information is there for you on the distance energy healing and therapy. You can read about the benefits, check out the testimonials page, and of course, I have a 15% discount for you off your very first session with me or as a first-time client. So you are welcome uh, to use that and to enjoy that. And I think that's it, Capricorns. I'm wishing you a beautiful start to May. I will see you back here for the second half of May readings. Take care.